heard of Jeff Zahiro, and he's the political columnist for the Richmond Times Dispatch, the great paper that covers the, the Capitol, so he stays busy. Hopefully, he, doesn't, he, you know, he, he leaves us alone a whole lot, he deals with the general assembly folks and the governor. He has co covered uh, Virginia campaigns in the state house uh, for more than 30 years. First for the United Press International, then for Virginia Business Magazine, and since 1987, he's been with the Times Dispatch. Shapiro's column appears in the Times Dispatch on Sunday and on Wednesday. The column is syndicated throughout Virginia. His video column is posted Thursday on the newspaper's website, timesdispatch.com. He also does a weekly political radio show on Friday mornings, and it is my pleasure to introduce a true journalistic institution, and it's a pleasure to have <laughs> I'm, I'm reading the notes now. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the one that was laughing. <laughs> but but uh, it, it's a pleasure. Let's give him a warm welcome, Jeff, as he comes to speak to us. going to the for-profit sector, <laughs> and um, it will be good to see him uh, still at the Capitol and, uh, and in Byron's. Um, I, I, I must uh, tell you that there are few people in the, uh, I guess what is euphemistically known as the, the advocacy field, who bring uh, this very unusual combination of frantic and calm uh, to their to their work. Um, Mike uh, uh, moves about the the the, the capital um, quickly, purposefully. Uh, he'd probably kill me for saying this. It, Watching him at work sometimes reminds me of a cartoon I saw some some years ago in the New Yorker. It's uh, two gerbils in conversation. And the caption reads, "Well, I you know I start the day with 45 minutes of cardio, then I do an hour of cardio, then I do 30 minutes of cardio." And I think that Mike is is like that gerbil. He's he's always doing cardio. Um, the uh, election, of course, on, on Tuesday uh, was not without its um, uh, surprises. Uh, the Democrats uh, clearly were stung. Um, these, these House elections uh, really are local elections uh, writ large. Uh, and so the, the, the setbacks, I think, are particularly um, stinging for the, the Democrats, who would like to think that um, uh, you know their, their presence, their their roots are are, are extending through all levels of the, uh, the government. Uh, two years ago, uh, the Democrats moved to a six-five advantage in the congressional delegation. Uh, as of uh, as of now, with an asterisk, um, we're at eight-three. I'm saying we, Virginia is at eight-three. Uh, the uh, one race, that asterisk race, of course, is uh, in the 11th. Uh, Jerry Connolly, who was you know, one of you all, uh, is ahead by about 900 votes. And um, uh, that is likely to go to, re to, to recount. Uh, if I am correctly informed, Keith Finney and the Republicans uh, has selected a recount council uh, which includes uh, a Democrat. 
<coughs> we'll get into that um, a little bit later. Uh, why the Democrats uh, did as poorly as they did, and, and, and certainly some of these results were not unexpected, uh, you know, clearly was this, this anti-Obama, anti-establishment, I think that that's probably more to the point, pushback. Uh, the national polls uh, indicate, and um, to some degree, uh, I, I think this may have a little less application at the, the local level, that voters are not exactly enamored of the Democrats, but they're not exactly enamored of the Republicans. Uh, that the uh, measure of distaste for both parties is about equal. Uh, it's just that the Republicans were on the outs, the outsiders, and seemed to be the uh, you know the more appealing uh, alternative. The um, I think the biggest surprise, of course, of the evening was in the ninth congressional district. John Barbeck and I were discussing this um, a, a few minutes ago, and William Wampler, whose dad held that seat for a number of years, uh, and I were discussing this last night. Uh, that Rick Boucher's uh, congressional career uh, ended essentially as it began. A state legislator <clears throat> toppling a seemingly entrenched, seeming in, in, seemingly indomitable congressional incumbent. Uh, though Rick Boucher uh, managed to hold the seat for 28 years, uh, Bill Wampler, William, am I correct, the bald eagle of the Cumberlands? Uh, was in that seat at that time, or had been in that seat uh, for that time, at, for 18 years. Uh, of course, the 9th District has that great competitive punch-in-the-nose uh, tradition. Um, the elections in the 5th South Side, the 2nd South Hampton Rose, those were the seats that were expected to flip, and they did far more easily than I think a lot of people uh, expected. Uh, Glenn Nye, um, a <coughs> diplomat before he became a politician, uh, perhaps uh, is a victim of his own supposed skills. He went into this election uh, managing to irritate everyone, uh, including his friends, uh, and um, uh, trying to establish a measure of independence uh, with the president only put him at a disadvantage with the people on, on whose votes um, he depended. Uh, that was a three-way race. Uh, Ken Golden, who was the former uh, Republican chairman of the city of Virginia Beach, uh, running as an independent with a Whig Party um, uh, endorsement. I mentioned in uh, some remarks the other day, I don't think there have been Whigs in Virginia since about 1850. Um, and so that did not bleed off the votes that uh, the Democrats hoped uh, the Golden candidacy Wood and uh, Scott Ridgell, uh, multi-millionaire car dealer, good friend of Governor Bob McDonald, is headed to D.C. He claims he will only serve uh, 12 years. Uh, I wonder if the skill set uh, that um, makes for a, an effective, efficient, and profitable car dealer is akin to, to that uh, which makes for a um, productive and successful politician. Um, you know, truth has a way of uh, shifting, much like the price of an automobile. <laughs> in, the, um, in the fifth district, uh, Robert Hurt um, easily dispatched of uh, Tom Periolo. Uh, Tom Periolo gets a great deal of uh, credit uh, from Republicans uh, among, uh, for his um, uh, loyal to a fault, or comparatively speaking, loyal to, to a fault approach uh, to campaigning. Uh, he chose not to run from the president. Uh, and in the 5th Congressional District, the South Side, for the most part, um, among the most conservative areas uh, of the state, um,